How many could use a little more joy? Considering the Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, I'm going to tell you how you can receive more joy. This is the instructions for joy. John chapter 16, verse 24. John 16, 24. Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. Nothing is more thrilling than when you have asked God and the answer comes. We would have a whole lot more Christians, a whole lot more believers, followers of Christ, disciples of Christ, full of joy, if we were getting answers to our prayers. If you have a need, and you present that need to the Lord, and the Lord meets your need, doesn't that make you happy? Getting an answer to your prayers, that's how our joy can be full. Not only answering our prayers for our own needs, but much more the needs of others. When you get an answer to a prayer that you have prayed, whether it's for yourself or somebody else, it brings joy unspeakable and full of glory. Your joy is full and running over the more answers you get. It's wonderful. There's nothing more wonderful than getting an answer to prayer. But how can you get an answer to prayer if you don't ask? Amen? So take the time to ask. And when you ask, ask in faith. Because the scripture says if you don't ask in faith, you're not going to receive anything from the Lord. We've got to ask in faith, believing. But this is the instructions that your joy may be full. Praise God. Present your petition to the Lord. And that doesn't mean he's going to give you an answer right away. Jesus said, knock and keep knocking. Ask and keep asking. How long do I knock, Jesus, until the doors open? Question is, how badly do you need the answer on the other side of the door? Are you willing to knock until the answer comes? Because when the answer does come, Oh, the joy, the joy. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God, that your joy may be full. Jesus said, up to this point, you've not even asked. He's talking to his disciples. He says, you haven't even asked. Verse 23, it says, In that day you shall ask me nothing. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he'll give it you. Hitherto you've asked nothing in my name. See, what he's saying is, there's coming a time when you won't have to ask in his name anymore. You can ask directly from the Father yourself. But he says, until then, you have to ask the Father through my name, through me. I'm the access to the Father. You have to come through me. Amen. There's only one mediator between God, the Father, and the people, God's people, and that's Jesus Christ. The world thinks they can go to the Pope. They think they can go to the go to the confessional box at a Catholic church. No, there's only one mediator between God and man, and that's Jesus Christ, the righteous. 
So, if you want your joy to be full, gotta ask. God bless you.